After the collapse of the bubble economy in 1993, 92, 93, uh, the, we had uh, many homeless people and in Tokyo. And then homeless people started to occupy that park. And um, so it was the beginning of the, the, but the, of, of the difficulties of uh, Miyashita Park. And then this uh, occupation uh, still continue today, but uh, in a different way. But uh, uh, and, and since it is uh, occupied by homeless people, um, it's very difficult for young, uh, for kids and women to uh, utilize that park. And then, since it is not well used, utilized, uh, local government also didn't take care so much the vegetation, so it became very deteriorated. The local government uh, launched a, a competition and they received four or five different proposals from different companies, and we were also one of the uh, candidates. And, uh, and then finally we were selected. And, um, <clears throat> and then we started to propose uh, uh, many versions based on the, this first proposal in order to find the, the, the point of the negotiation between two parties, Nike Japan and the Shibuya World. Uh, uh, local government. Our intention is to uh, bring uh, possible uh, potential users of the park from Shibuya. We knew that there were young kids who play skateboarding and uh, there are some also uh, complaints from the local community to the uh, local government uh, about the noise of, uh, produced by the skateboarding along the Meiji Street, which is next to the park. And there's, uh, we knew also the, uh, the people who wants to climb the wall in, in the middle of Shibuya. And we knew also dancers in, the, in, in Shibuya, street dancers who always train by train in front of the uh, blackout grass wall after the business hour of the building. And uh, so we visited many different community to hear about their, what they want, how they utilize, what is the rule among them. And uh, we integrated these information uh, into the project. Uh, I think it works very well because uh, uh, there are many different type of people uh, gathering. And for example, in the skateboard area, there is, uh, of course, skateboarders, but at the same time, there are young uh, uh, high school girls who come to see the uh, boys skating, for example. Also, elder people who like to see the, the young people uh, uh, practice sports uh, in front of him, they, they like to see it also. Uh, there are also the mother and kid and the baby who spend time uh, uh, under the uh, shadow of trees. Uh, there are couples, there are uh, office ladies who, who have lunch, who bring a lunch box and uh, spend one hour there. And uh, of course there are homeless people who spend the daytime under the sun. And then, uh, in, for example, in the skateboard area, there are three generations, like uh, uh, the, the elderly, not elderly, but uh, the people like my age, who, who is a kind of, uh, a kind of uh, <laughs> godfather of the, the kids, and uh, of the skateboarders, and uh, young kids like uh, university students and high school students, and uh, very young kids, like uh, elementary school kids. Yeah. And uh, they have a different role. For example, the young 
the, the, the elderly always watch the younger, and the younger always uh, watch elder. Uh, and they are teaching and learning each other. So this is uh, very beautiful. We are interested in behavior. So we published a book called Behaviorology, discussing uh, uh, three different types of behavior. One is, uh, uh, of course, human behavior, but at the same time natural behavior, light and wind and uh, humidity and uh, water and all these uh, natural elements behave you know, based on the physical disciplines inside and outside around the building. And uh, the third one is uh, behavior of the building. And uh, from this we start to develop the idea of uh, commonalities and uh, how architecture can, uh, can uh, deal and uh, work on the realm of commonality rather than the private, rather than just public. So something missing today is, uh, uh, is this um, intermediate uh, uh, realm between private and public. Uh, yeah, I like Tokyo a lot, but uh, something uh, in 20, uh, Japanese contemporary architecture in 20th century uh, couldn't achieve is the streetscape. And, uh, and uh, the, this uh, greatness of, uh, of, uh, the, of the, the establishing the commonality among people uh, through architecture. This is something uh, we failed during 20th century. So I think 21st century, it is very important to, to do it again. And we can also s apply same idea into public space. <laughs> Thank you.